Well, glad to be joined by a no-till innovator, Jill Clapperton, here for a no-till conference preview. And yeah, I know you're going to be going down the, the wormhole of soil health, covering some of the crucial steps of creating and sustaining productive soils. So, Jill, what are some of the key points you hope to hit on during your presentation in Louisville? Well, the biggest point is just going to be an awareness of who lives in the soil and what they do and how they really benefit us as farmers. And and then, you know, it's going to I think it's going to be really good because the images are really quite astounding. And we will get to know a lot of the organisms that are living in the soil, the bacteria, the fungi, but particularly the fauna and how important predator-prey interactions are in liberating nutrients and plants taking them up, so. Yeah, it sounds like, you know, these are the kind of things that maybe no-tillers might not think about as much as they should. Now, why is it so important to understand what's going on, all those interactions beneath the soil? Well, it's really important for them as no-tillers, for anybody who's a no-tiller, because we are building, are we building soil as a habitat? So our soils are habitats. And so maybe we should know what's going on in the habitat and see how we can make it better. Yeah, that'll be your general session. You're also going to be doing a classroom focused on, you know, measuring and maintaining healthy no-tilled soils. And, and one of the things you'll be talking about is how to measure progress. So why is that so important? Um, well, measuring progress is important because a lot of a lot of farmers will ask, hey, how do I know I'm I'm on the right track. And so we're going to talk in real general terms about what are the ways we can measure without doing anything fancy. So that's one thing about me is I'm not overly fancy in that regard. I'm going to talk about ways we can use our eyes, which are excellent, you know, uh, excellent instruments for observation. I'm also going to talk about how we can, you know, think about whether we are going on the right track and then some measurements that we can make really easily ourselves. Um, and more importantly, I'm going to talk about how we can stim how we can actually change the way our soils function. So how we use plants in order to change, you know, soil structure, change the microbiological community so that our plants are healthier. And, and, and we'll be able to see that. Like, that's the whole point is that you can actually see these things happening. You don't, you can measure them with your eyes. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but you're actually a two-time no-till conference presenter of the year. So attendees like watching your presentations, apparently. Uh, what can we expect from, from a Jill Clapperton presentation if we've never seen one of your sessions before? You can expect to see the world of soil in a way that you have never, ever seen it before. And you are going to walk away with understanding that when you stand on your ground, you're standing on this whole other world that you have created as a no-till farmer. Well said, well said. Now, I know you get invited to do all kinds of uh, presentations and conferences all over. So what do you like about the no-till conference? You've, I know you've been a few times now. Um, I like how engaged the farmers are. Um, every time I've been and every time I've done presentations and classroom, classroom centers, classroom sessions, uh, they have always been in, everybody in the sessions has been so engaging. And that's the best part, because especially when you do the classroom session, you want people to be asking questions and, you know, sharing their own, like their own experiences, whatnot. And I really look forward to that interaction. And the same thing after the presentation on, you know, what's in the soils. I love people to be able to see, you know, we can't all look through the microscope and do all these fancy things. So I love seeing the expression on everybody's face when they say, wow, so that's in my soil. And um, and then the questions that come after. I mean, it's always, the questions are always the best part of it. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I'm glad you brought that up because I, I've been to some conferences where, you know, after the presentation, um, the person who's them seeing will be like, any questions from the audience? And it, it, sometimes it's almost like crickets, but the no-till conference, it's like, you could do an entire session where it's just questions. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, and I like that, actually. I really enjoy the fact that you could do a whole session with just questions because that means your audience is truly engaged and they're informed. An informed, engaged audience, there isn't anything better. 
Well, Joe, this is great. Thanks for taking the time for joining us for this preview and look forward to seeing you in uh, Louisville, Kentucky here in a few weeks. Oh, so do I. <laughs>